this time I decided to make a spaghetti measure. And if you're not a cook or if you're unfamiliar with these, they're handy tools that you can keep in your kitchen and they help you figure out how much spaghetti you need. Uh, if, if you're like me, um, when you're cooking spaghetti, you kind of just grab a handful of the noodles, you throw it in a pot, and you end up, usually end up cooking too little, or in my case, you cook way too much, right? So you, a lot goes to waste. So what's nice about these is that you can grab your spaghetti, you can figure out with just a little bit of trial and error uh, how much you need. And so maybe if it's just for yourself, it's one of the smaller holes. If it's a family, you use one of the larger ones. If it's a really big family, maybe use a combination of a couple of these, right? Um, so you can make this pretty easily. Another cool thing about this project is that it it's a very easy project to make. So if you're a beginning woodworker, there's no tricky cuts, no tricky joinery. Uh, it's a one word project, so you can make it um, pretty cheaply, right? And pretty easily. Um, so another thing too, if you do make one of these, I recommend that you make, make four or five of these, right? People love getting this kind of stuff as gifts, especially kitchen projects. For some reason, people love that. So uh, stick around for the video. I'll show you how I made this. And oh, and if you haven't clicked subscribe yet on YouTube, be sure to do that too, as I post new videos from time to time. So to get started on my spaghetti measure, I've got here a half inch piece of oak. It's about three inches wide and about 15 inches long. And it's, it's gonna be almost impossible to see the little cut lines that I've drawn on, the, on my board here. Um, but I will include a, a, a link out on my website at woodlogger.com where you can see how I, how, you know, kind of the template that I use to cut this out. Um, and I, I'm going to use a bandsaw for mine because I've got one and I think that's the best tool to use. Uh, but if you don't have a bandsaw, you could certainly use a scroll saw or even a jigsaw. So I've got my board cut to the size and the shape that I want. Next up, I'm gonna drill some holes in the board. And to start off with, I'm gonna drill a hole in the handle. Um, and that's just so I can hang it up if I want. And really, it's just kind of for decorative looks as well. Um, after that, I will use uh, various size spade bits and Forstner bits. And I'm gonna use a total of four of those and space them out so that they, they, they look good. Um, and because I'm using, this is oak, and because of the size of the spade bits, I've lowered the speed of my drill press considerably. So I'm gonna work on that next. So I'm pretty much done with my board at this point. I could just uh, lightly sand this and put a finish on it. I've decided to do an extra step or an optional step and that's to just sort of use a quarter inch round over bit around the sides of it as well as the insides of the holes. I think it'll just look a little bit nicer and uh, I'm gonna use my uh, router table for that. And then after that, I'll be ready to sand this up and uh, finish it. Well, that wraps up the spaghetti measure project. These make great gifts and they're really simple and easy to make. I have the little leather tassel thing here at the end. Uh, I think maybe more for decorative reasons than anything, but I guess if I want to hang it, I can do that too. So uh, be sure to check out my website at woodlogger.com. I'll post more detailed information about this project and other projects I have going on in my shop.